All right, what's up, guys? Uh, continuing where we left off on the vigil playthrough. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We're in my town, my town. So we got a. Uh, I think this will allow me to upgrade my weapons. If there's anything you want to keep safe, leave it with me. I have ways of keeping things safe. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. My methods are a trade secret, though. This is our little secret, though. Okay, so this is just storage. Um, I don't think I need to really store anything at the moment. I don't know if I need to, like, uh, activate these or what. Here we go. Zachary. Oh, it's you. While you're here, take a look around. If you find something that's not up to standard, I can make it cheaper for you. Um, so this is the set that I'm wearing currently. Guard boots. Alright, well, this shit seems to be expensive. Hmm. Defense plus three, poise plus four. Damn, that has a lot of poise. Um, reduced debuff duration. I might just get this for now. Um, yeah, let me get some of these too. Actually, I don't know because I should... Uh, well, yeah, let me get some of these... I'll buy 20 poison arrows, and then let me get this. All right. All equipment can be forged except for rings. Increase an item's abilities up to 150%. Use shimmer stones to level up equipment to plus seven. Okay. I don't know if I want to use it right now. I'm not going to I'm not going to upgrade anything. I don't even know what I want to use yet. Go ahead and equip this. Oh wait, I didn't know you could equip like a hood and a mask at the same time. So let me see what that owl mask is like. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up, too, because it's extra defense. Alright, now I'm an owl lady. So I'm going to explore the town a little bit, um, but there was a path below, I think, that led somewhere, and I also want to see where that goes before we go on too far. Adversity Paved Road 11-6. According to Pace the Martyr, intense pain results and new understanding. Sacrifice and acquisition are synonyms instead of casualty beneath shimmering light and in the palm of the goddess. Healing potion. I will gladly take that. Okay, the door's locked. Mukdar. Mukdar's home. Welcome to May Theater. Well, it may not be as good as my theater, a real actor is never limited by their venue, right? 
Come now, my wonderful audience, what thrilling tale shall I tell today? How about the time the heroic Mugdars bravely sacrificed his right hand to save a little girl from dastardly heretics? Little girl? There's a tradition among desert tribesmen cutting the throats of the sick. If you wish to save someone from this fate, you must sacrifice something extremely important for the brave Mukdars. It was his right hand. It's a pity he only had one to give. For had he a right hand, perhaps he could have blocked the arrow that pierced the little girl's neck. Such a sacrifice and all for naught and in a world supposedly blessed by the goddess. And so our tale is done. Come back another time. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> That's all that's in here? I mean, I don't really give a shit about this guy's stories. No, I see a chest up there. How the hell do I get in there? I guess maybe something I get later. I don't know. I can't get to it now though, so we'll just leave. We'll just keep it in mind. God, this place is huge. Is vigilant training as hard as they say? I remember reading a book about the vigilance in the library when I was young. My mother found out and made me apologize to the goddess, and she was spitting mad at the librarians for leaving it out. Is it really so serious? I read that vigilants can only eat raw food, they have to remain celibate, they can't grow a beard, and they need to memorize the shimmer code. Is that all true? I just don't respond. I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. What is that apple cider again? I can't remember. A drink that has a fruity, earthy flavor, and while the taste of alcohol, it increases the speed of stamina regeneration. Okay. So, basically, that's Angry Orchard. Brana hasn't been seen for days. The guards have no idea what they're doing. Everyone thinks she's overly devout and prudish, but actually, she loves to smile and sing. Stein the Gravekeeper has been acting pretty weird recently. I mean, Stein is normally a bit odd, but he's been odder than usual. Is it related to... Never mind. What? What's been going on? Nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought maybe I could drop down there. Yeah, I hate people like that. Like, don't bring something up and then just be like, Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's fucking annoying. Weird, isn't Daisy home? Did you come back for Shimmerless Day or Daisy's birthday? Well, it's the same day, I guess. Daisy wrote me a letter asking me to return home for a while. Well, since you're here, can you help me give your little sister her cake? I made it for her. You can try some first if you'd like, I don't mind. You made this cake? Daisy, she deserves to be happy. I can't imagine how happy she'll be when she sees you in the cake. Quick, go home and surprise her. I need to get back to the tavern. You should come by and have a drink sometime. Alright, uh... Come to Carl Mountain Bloodstains by the Waterfall. Quinn knows a lot about Brunei. He sees past all the rumors of her. Help Steve find his helmet. Tough that tomboy. Cillian made a cake. She even waited outside our house to deliver it. How weird. And that's done. Okay. Cillian made this for Daisy's birthday. None of the other customers of the pub have ever ordered one. This thing's probably like poisoned or some shit. Shimmerless Day is the most important day of the year and there's so much to prepare. If she could be here, that would be nice. She must be out there somewhere protecting people. Maybe she can come back home this year. It's been several years since last time we celebrated birthday together. And it's my 16th birthday. She knew that for sure. Maybe I should clean the house just in case. 
or prepare some of her favorite meals, and of course, my special blended drink. Wait, who's knocking at the door? Daisy, are you here? I'm back. Can you believe Cillian made a cake? That's Cillian. Daisy, where are you? I love how she's yelling like, hey, are you here? This is like the tiniest fucking house ever. Can you not see across the other side? Hexagonal candle used every year and I always forget to buy a new one. Ceremonial costume. Have no idea where it is now. We'll have to borrow one. Ceremonial bell. If I can't find it, I could try asking Sister Jasmine to give me another one. These like wooden parts of the buildings are throwing me off. Like it looks like you should be able to break those. I've seen them a couple times. Maybe you can get something later. I don't know. What did I just pick up? Oh, it was just in the notes. Daisy must have gone out. Maybe Bruna has hexagonal candle. I remember nuns distribute ceremonial bells to people in the church. And where can I find a ceremonial blouse? Maybe she already had one. Okay. What the fuck? She just shot me with a slingshot. I'm the best marksman in the capital and quite famous too. I was given a title by the emperor himself. Thurber Y. Sungi? Sunjai? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm a master at deciphering, detecting, and tracking. That's why I'm here. The emperor gave me a task and it's trickier than I expected. I never imagined the emperor would be interested in heathen prophecies from a group of drug-addled priests. I have no idea where to begin my investigation. Those charlatans run their mouths like men. Then men like me lose our lives over the cryptic words. Oh, okay. I thought it was a girl. It looks like a girl, but it's a dude, so uh, Thurber is a guy. This time I came alone. Nobody else should die for their nonsense. So... Can't get that yet either. Damn, all this stuff I can't get. Okay, so this leaves the town, so I know we just ran all the way over here, but before we do that, I really want to go back to the uh, other side and figure out where that path led to before we got into the town. Wasn't there a save over here? I should have saved back at the town, but I think there's one, like, pretty close. Oh yeah, and sorry last episode if my voice was kind of, like, quieter than the game volume. I'm still figuring everything out. Um, this is the first time recording gameplay and commentary simultaneously. So this is the first time I've used OBS. And, uh... Yeah, I think it might be better this time around. I uh, lowered the in-game volume a little bit. And also, I know the video cut off like at the end. I accidentally cut it off like too early. So I had like a little outro thing and just totally accidentally cut it out. So my bad on that too trying to find the save i can't remember there's one over here i know there was like three in the town and for some reason i oh yeah okay it was in here all right hopefully we find an axe soon because i want to start upgrading weapons and stuff but i just don't i don't think i'm gonna want to use a halberd the whole time there was a saw blade that looked pretty cool, though. I mean, technically, I guess the halberd is considered, like, an axe in this game, but I don't know. Shit. 
Alright, I'm just gonna ignore that guy for now. Yeah, it was like right down here. Well, actually... I can't... Is this... It's a pretty long fall, and I don't know if I can jump that far. Okay, cool. So this is literally all it was, was just an item, and I mean, why can't I pick that? Why can't I pick it up? There we go. Stinky helmet. The inside stinks, is slick with grease and speckled with dandruff. Whoever this belongs to takes care of neither it nor themselves. So it's probably that jackass that we needed to find the helmet for. I mean, that makes sense, right? Ow, shit. I think that guy was up in the castle. Um, sorry, I know it seems like I'm forgetting a lot. It's been like three days since I recorded the first episode, so it's not it's not fresh in my mind. Yeah, this is the guy. Oh, my helmet, great. This is for you as a reward. Here you are for my very own precious collection. Hee <laughs> hee, enjoy. Collection of Duran's letters. Your last letter mentioned that applicants needed to pass five trials to qualify as gate guards. Where did you read that? That's hilarious. The gate guard is actually a symbolic name. Guard means defender for sure, but no one knows that the gate re represents. Hmm. As to the references, it's hard to choose one. The Battle of De Bushire and the Linville Chronicle. Oops, that's two of them. You want to meet? I I'd love to, of course, but there's nothing to do here but read old books, and it takes a month's travel to get here. No, you wouldn't want to come here. Why the f why did he give me this for? Why do I want this? Maybe I should return them to Duran. Well, I can't remember who that was right now. I think I talked to him in the town, maybe. It's not this guy. That's the captain. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to find out who, who this person was though. Because I want to complete this quest before we move on. Honestly, this episode's probably gonna be pretty boring. I'm literally just exploring the town. So, I apologize. That's Mukdar, the tavern. Was Duran in the tavern? I literally can't remember, but I could have sworn that I talked to somebody named Duran. Oh yeah, she's the one that gave us the cake. That's Quinn. Alright, well, you know what? I guess I'll just finish that later. To be honest, I'm not even sure that I ran into a Duran. So... I might come off as stupid, but it, in my opinion, it seemed like there was a lot of shit going on within the first, like, area of this game. Like, there was, like, 30 different characters in the town. There's a lot of information and stuff, like, kind of 
thrown on you all at once, so... She followed him and I followed her, following her. Why was she following the professor? She, her, her, she. My head hurts. I need my scare wood, sacred wood medicine. Young lady, could you please get my medicine for me? Yeah, I guess. Church Plaza. Outskirts of May. Sister Jasmine, there are six essential items required for the ceremony that most of them can be reused each year. The ceremonial bells only can be can only be used once, so the church has a supply of them. You need a ceremonial bell? Here, please take one. Okay. Worship proceeding, so I can't go in there yet. So I can go to the cemetery. Strange noises in the graveyard recently. Stein. Okay, hold on. Strange noises in the graveyard recently. Stein. Stein is worried. He seems like a Frankenstein type of character, so I picture that's what he talks like. Empty library. The residents of the town don't look kindly upon the library and the local church has evolved into a private organization. I have received instructions to return to the capital, though I must deal with all these documents first. Jade ring. Money drop plus 50%? Alright. I'd be crazy not to put that on. There are many stories about the liquid full moon after the battle of I, Dick Bushire. The mad mistress combined with the holy wound. The sadness poured from her eyes and reddened the sun, and there was sunset from then on. The daughter she raised for 450 years left her for love. The mistress then started a war and took her daughter's life with her own hands. Who are you? Have you forgotten me? I used to bring books for you and your sister. You always love scary stories and mysteries, and Daisy, Daisy couldn't get enough of fairy tales. Do you remember the stories of the ancient seal? Such a beautiful line. The giant wood kissed by the sunshine? It's a beautiful image from before the long night. I'm sorry, I've been gone for a very long time. Never mind, your presence won't bother my reading. It's so peaceful and quiet here, right? But Bruna, she's not a fan of reading. What do you mean? The captain assigned you to help find Bruna, didn't he? And you went to a place Bruna would never go to? To truly know someone, you need to know what they read. Reading is the blending of word and soul. It tells us so much. I don't follow your meaning. Never mind. It's just an old man's ramble. I truly hope you find what you can find what you're really looking for. If we can get assistance from the great deity, the darkness can be eliminated. The sacred legacy hides within the sacred wood waiting. When the bones and blood are resonating, the sacred wood will heave and the great deity adv advents with light. The mother of Coland sowed the seed of light and brought forth the love of the dazzling goddess far away in the holy lands when the ritual bell rings. Colin will once again extend to the sky. Colin, Colin, I don't know. Mentioning Cilia is forbidden in De Bushire. After a civil war lasting centuries, Cilia, the wealthiest country on the continent of Colin, declared its independence. Since then, the mistress ceased giving her blessing to the country and calls its decline to begin. Damn, there's a lot of notes in here. I mean, I guess it is a library. Cilia's prince and the daughter of Colin's mistress gave birth to the people and made new Colin in a new land. Although the Battle of Debushire destroyed half of the continent's civilizations, a new age could finally begin. Okay. Alright, I think we're coming up on 20 to 30 minutes, so I'm going to wrap this one up here. Um, 
we'll continue on in the next episode, I guess, and venture into the cemetery. So I will see you guys in a bit.